Hey guys, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. Welcome. We're glad you're here. It's Monday. We're starting a new part to this series we've been talking about. We're talking about um, wisdom, just practical wisdom. We're taking this all from the book of Proverbs, and I hope you're getting something out of this. It seems like a lot of people are following us and, and making comments, so I just pray that um, you're getting some revelation to this. So, and I do that right now. Father, just give us revelation to your word. Open our eyes, open our hearts to receive from you. In Jesus' name, and all God's people said, amen and amen. Well, this week I want to talk to you about uh, something, again, practical wisdom. It's called uh, take some good advice. It, take w it takes wisdom to take good advice. And in today's world, it seems like there's a lot of people want to give us advice. And so um, what we need to do is um, we need to um, hone our skills of how to receive good advice. And again, we're going to look at that this week. Uh, the problem is most advice that comes to you uh, without request is worth what you pay for it. In other words, if somebody wants to give you advice, and there's always somebody there that wants to give you advice, if, um, if they want to give you advice and you didn't ask for it, probably isn't going to be worth much. Amen? And taking the wrong advice can get you into a lot of trouble. So we want to make sure who we listen to, who we take advice from, and, and again, we're going to talk about that this week. So let's fine-tune our, the art of taking advice. Turn with me, if you would, Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 15. Proverbs 12 verse 15 says this, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who heeds counsel is wide. So getting counsel, that's what we're talking about. What do we do? How do we go about getting counsel? Here it says, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. In other words, if you don't seek counsel, if you just go about your own business looking to yourself to make decisions without any help from other people, sometimes that can get us into a lot of problems. And it says, but he who heeds counsel is wise. So there's the wisdom that we want to talk about. This same scripture, if you look in the message uh, translation. It says, fools are headstrong and do what they like. Wise people take advice. Amen. And that sounds like it almost rhymes too. Um, Proverbs 19.20, turn with me there. Proverbs 19 and verse 20. The word says this, listen to counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise in your latter days. Well, you know, here's the thing. That needs to start when you're young. Don't wait till your la latter days to seek good counsel and listen to counsel. We need to listen, receive instruction that you may be wise in your la latter days. You know, the Bible talks about wisdom is the principal thing. So we need to listen to good wisdom, listen to good advice, listen to good counsel. Amen. Again, the uh, uh, TEV translation says, if you listen to advice and you are willing to learn, one day you will be wise. Amen. So again, this is what we're talking about this week, getting good advice, getting good counsel. Um, so really, let's break this all down. While it's a matter of seeking and good, getting good advice, it's more important that we learn to take it and how to take it. So yeah, it's one thing to get good advice. And, 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 and again, there's a lot of people that want to give, good, give, give you advice. But first of all, we have to recognize it as good advice. And then we have to receive it and and decide whether it's right for our situation. Okay, we're going to break all this down. I'm going to give you more scripture, but think about this between now and tomorrow. And remember, Jesus loves you. I love you, and I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.